不是有只独白，才不是什么冲动表态，能否明白？What's up, everyone? What's up? Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me, uh, let me set the chat. Wait. There we go. Let's go. <gasps> okay, okay. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, hello, Rafi. Hello, Mafal. Hello, hello, Pylon. What's up? Hey. Okay. So anyway, anyway. Uh, let, 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 let's just jump into the, the game, shall we? Let's just jump into the game. Yeah. Okay, nice. Um, first of all, first of all, um, we're gonna be doing a whole lot of things about, about today. For today. I thought they were going to three minutes today. Yeah, uh, I actually have something to do. Uh, I actually went out of town, uh, but I uh, I actually went out of town, and there's a lot of um, a lot of uh, problem and everything else that actually happening um, inside of Fimico. But uh oh, 
but yeah it's actually okay i mean like uh, i mean like it's actually okay right now uh, everything is actually fine again but like the oh, oh wait wait oh. there we go and but um, I'm, ju I'm just gonna say that um, i actually have uh, have some things to do yesterday so yeah i i'm actually out of town yesterday but anyway anyway I'm, I'm i'm just gonna be doing this cinder um yeah the, the cinder one the cinder burn we're, we're gonna be finishing the story we're gonna be finishing the story real quick um oh yeah i'm, I'm gonna be doing uh i already do warzone i already do um, phantom pain cage i already do everything else but like we're gonna be reading reading we're gonna be reading, breaking food. and also Hello, hello, Ichael. <laughs> thank you, that, thank you, udah datang ya. And this is it, this is it. Okay. Hey, Nagoda. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Nagoda, since you're actually active in what is it in the server and also in in here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you something. I'm gonna give you something. There we go. There we go. You, 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 you. Uh, go, go wild with that. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go. It is the afternoon of the following days where Bella entered base South Street. No one is looking down at the manga in his hand, reading silently. The only thing different from before is that he is using a pear blossom as a bookmark. <laughs> See how. Yeah, there you go, Nokoda. Since you're actually active in uh, Pimeco Surfer and also in here, uh, I'm I'm gonna give you that. No worries. I thought you were taking a walk. You went to pick flower? Kind of. Hard to find a pure tree this day. Kamu buang kota harian gratis. Ada sini sini. Diam sini. Diam sini. In the news? Yeah. She sits across the no one with a solemn expression. She died a year ago. She got ill, then lived to see the rebellion. She left this journal before she died and gave her possession to a friend. Bella waved the tin booklet in her hand. She kept believing that things would get better even, the, uh, even after the rebellion won. There will be school on the lower level, people wouldn't have to fight for food for her bathroom. Then, she would be brave enough to find me. Hey Fion, what's up? You already have that, you already have the, what is it, the mod. I mean like, every female coach member actually have that though. But what do you think? Has her dream come true? Or has everything gone to shit? She struggled to hold back her tears. Don't you cry, they are useless. They can't save anyone. Don't repeat what my mom would say. And aren't you the one crying? He's sobbing too. Oh my god! <laughs> no one, you were such you were such a soft team, my guys, okay. So what if I repeat her word? They just proved that it's un uh, it, it's universal tree passed down from generation to generation. Yeah, we, we're gonna finish this one soon. We're gonna finish this story soon. Let's go. Just because it passed down from our elder doesn't mean it's true. A lot of the ideas are outdated. It's still it's still better than those fantasies you won't stop reading. Ordinary folks will never become all-powerful heroes in your Cardman Rider book. Cardman Rider aren't all-powerful. Their story are are cavitating only because their struggles too. They both look up and frown. Their grief suppress again. The real world isn't like your story. We don't always stand back up after we fall. So do you realize that? I thought you were all adversity built character like your books. Adversity is always destructive. I'm just willing to give I'm uh, just willing to believe that it can make me a better person. That's just wishful thinking you use to make yourself feel better. 
Nothing wrong with making myself, yourself feel better. People aren't supposed to stay stuck. You smile so freely when I first met you, but look at your face now, stuck. See? Clearly, someone who whenever smiles doesn't get to say that about me. Bella sneers. What happened on the train that day that made you this way? Haven't you been listening to what people were saying? Those were the sto their story, not yours. Sarak isn't your real name, is it? Does it matter? Obviously, a name represents a person past and present. Some past is just trouble. I don't want to explain and justify myself wherever I go. If that still bothers you, then you haven't made peace with your past. I couldn't bring them back, even if I made peace. Haven't you also hidden many things from me? You never asked. You answer if I ask now? No? Me neither. Doesn't it bother you when partners don't communicate with each other? What's wrong with the way we were? We could talk about our goals. Would that have gotten anything through your text calls? You have to learn to move past your regret. Same goes to you, I recon. I need time. Sure, but so do I. Nice. As their conversation come to in pace, Bella changed the subject, her bronze fur. Will you go back to Aslan? And do what? Fair? As long as Aslan and his people are there, there's no way you can return. Do you want to keep going with me then? Where will, you, where will you go? I'm planning to stay here for a while before deciding where to go next. There can't be anything worse out there after all. Can I offer you a new last name in this trying time? That won't be necessary. I've, I've seen the worst life has to offer. This is a bad as bad it gets. Things can only go up from here. Who could have known how bad things would get? Didn't take the disaster. Just some other scavenger like us that didn't that we didn't watch out for. Then not. Thank you, Bella. I should have said that sooner found me when I was the most lost and you helped me along the way. It could be quite annoying sometimes, but I suppose there's the blame to share. Had I not met you, I won't be standing here safe and sound. So thank you. And I'm sorry, I never told you my story. Springs will return, my favorite flower will bloom again. Only when you told me that, did I realize. I never got to tell you how I got that pure blossom in my books. We were always hiding our past. We could only talk about books we love. You might, you, could ha you, you might have become a merchant for a forsaken like I did if you had survived. Who knows? Maybe eventually we could be honest with each other real friend it's too late for any uh, it's too late for any of that isn't it mom captain rachel field shauna nino wayland ed on hill everyone i care for the train is gone will you go back to oslo the phantom keep repeating bella's word at random Young man is not bothered and instead start chatting with the familiar voice. Oh, bilang. There's no reason to return anymore. I ran into Mike at the Forsaken base. A few months ago. He told me Nino has passed too. You know, old injury had long lasting. He was eating less and less. 
last few years. And last month, he fell asleep one night and never woke up. He knew that you survived, and he heard I was preparing to leave out. So he asked me to give you back your things. He said, no one, no one on the train was going, was going to keep an eye on you. Thanks. But he was gone. I took out a familiar backpack filled with things no one left behind. Short sword no one used, the weapon design Rachel gave him, field journals, hanger with a bookmark resting between the page. I was going to bring you a piece of candy, but I lost it on my way here. Huh. Candy? You gave my niece your candy on your 11th birthday, didn't you? That was a long time ago. Ask him about Aslan. That is. When I found out that Asler was gone for good. Hey Kuya, welcome, welcome. Welcome Wahyu. A lot of things are getting better here. Perhaps the school will show up on the lower level in the few years like your mother wish. He said our sacrifice weren't in vain. He turned around. Patting the border collide, uh, collide by his side, deep in thought. So he decided to leave Ahdulak and start a new journey. So have I. After you were gone, I started to teach myself how to perform surgery. There's a lot of things I don't understand. But whatever I can do, I want to give it my all. I want to stay with other people and contribute like I did. Eventually, I had an arrangement. The forsaken and become one of their merchants. But the red tide flooded the city again after the disaster at the Pulia Forest Park ruin, and it took so many lives. He stared at the, uh, at the projected phantom in the red tide pause. They never stopped fighting, no matter how hopeless it was, even if it cost their life. The way they fought reminded me of the people in on the train. I was still confused about what come out, what came out of my choice, and our rebellion after I left Oslo. What is the point of it, when none of you, you are here anymore, even if our dream has come true? Only when I saw that those who would die defending the people from this calamity did I realize I was right not to give Oslo the terminal that day. I would have betrayed them if I had compromised. Their sacrifice would be would have been in vain. Spring will come like you say. Winter does not take. Some would light fire with their soul. No one's look up and chuckles for real. Someone dies defending against this disaster every second. Could be the damn with their life to keep the flood out, I would have made the same choice. It, if did I, it, uh, choice I did if I was in the same situation, wouldn't I? Not because I've decided to give up the possibility they gave me. Just making the same choice they did, I'm passing this ticket to the future to someone else. Ah, uh, no worries, no worries, no worries, what you? Goodbye, Bella. I have to take matches for the Forsaken Book. They are still waiting for this serum. I'm glad I got to hear your voice again, but I hope this is the last time I run into the Red Tide. Yes, I remember it now. Conservation Area 4-5. Grey Raven and the Unconscious Commander. I've met them before. I did make the same choice when I returned to the train with the Forsaken. The young construct didn't recognize me, but Jamila did. I didn't regret anything. I have received many gifts from people in my life, therefore I'm willing to sacrifice everything in exchange for other people's turn. I have love, and I love them. Our death and decay are not mean. 
They are the cinder that will light up the night. They may have be on, uh, they may only be as bright as fireflies, but as small and frail as their flame may be, they are enough to light as a, fu a fuse. All possibilities stem from the Big Bang. No one slowly opened his eyes, having found his answer to make him slumber. Despite the scars all over his body, strength that make him hard to move. All his memories are back. He is no longer lost. Oh nice, we're fighting now? Let's go. Open open eye up. Oh what the heck? It seems Oh what? Okay. Never mind then. I, I was actually reading the one. This looks familiar. Oh. Go forward. Was all wait. should be one of the stronghold. Maybe Litas didn't get a chance. Oh my gosh, what the hell with that? It's actually really short. Go no way. Can do this. Wait, what? Okay. Frame reboot. Oh. No one is alive, right? Okay. No one is actually. Yeah, they, all, all of them are actually down. Okay, this is. Okay. I don't know what cup at this point. Okay, let's go, no one. That's bad, that's bad. Move, move, no one, move. Oh yeah, this one, this one, BGM is actually revelation. Let, let, let just, let just go up, let just go up. get corrupted it. It, that's freaking it oh this one is a boss fight let's go okay. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm lonely. Boss battle? I think this. Oh, yeah. This is boss battle. There we go. This is nice. One. This is nice. Wait. Where should I go? Here? Oh, yeah. This is it. At least there's three. Ooh. I've been waiting for no one. Dang it. Oh, life's again. Nice. Okay. That's good. That's good. Oh my gosh. What happened? Oh my gosh, I, I was actually... What the hell with this? What, what the hell with this corrupted construct and thing up at my? Uh, at, yeah. Oh. Oh, nice. Hey, another boss battle. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So I think we're actually at the end. That's creepy though. That 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 thread I think is. Anohi, anata wa onshi wo urakitta. Kanojo no kisei wo muda ni shita. Ah, demo kanojo wa minarau na da to sa. Ja, boku no koto wa anata wo sukutte zutto mimamotte iru. Boku no koto mo uragiru no. Oops. Can I do what? 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 What do I do? Very nice. Let's get in the train. I think. Oh yeah, it, this is this is. The... あなたの人生はいつも無力感に追われて逃げているの。僕のプレゼントを拒んではダメ。なら、いいものをくれよ。Oh my gosh, what? This is cool. Hey, what? I cannot parry that? What? Wait, I cannot parry that? Ah, oh, there we go. Hell 
is this? Eh? 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 Wait, what? What the hell? What? 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 what, what? Oh my god! I don't understand. Wait, wait, wait! I don't understand. Wait, how? 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 How can I actually finish this? How? How can I actually finish this? Fight kind of be hard to predict. Indeed, I mean, like, uh oh, just look at that. What the hell? Oops, no. Okay, timing the parry. Okay, timing the parry. Oh, oh okay, I'm safe from that. Oh. Again. Hit. There we go, nice. Okay, that's not cool. Ah, oh, okay, that's nice. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay, come here, come here. There we go, nice. まで逃げれば自分の罪と向き合えるの。もう逃げ場はないよ。ここにはボス。うん。倒れるわけには。夜を。No. Oh. Wait, I cannot. I cannot even hit it. Oh yeah, yeah, I cannot hit it. Wait, what? It doesn't even hit me. That's it. There we go. Ooh. Kako no kiyoku no naka de heian ni heian ni sama yo. No, no wonder, no wonder everyone been calling. Uh, who, who is it? Been calling Litos Chi because of that voice, though. Come on, no one, you can do it. Follow the light. 
Oh, even the BGM, my gosh. I still remember this BGM. I, I've been I've been listening to it the, the the what is it the CN version one? I've been listening to it and it was actually good though I really like it. Uh, Oh my god, no. Wait. Eh? Oh, that was good. Yeah. Gonna lie, I'm 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 sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry tearing oh my god I'm I'm sorry giving out tears. Oh no. しは生きた証であり。廃場私たちはいつまでではないと証明してくれるから。新たな生き物を脱走から生まれる。私にとってこれが腐ってホタルになるのは見て。だ、is Why? Why, why, why? why would they actually like giving onion the, like at the end just like this? I, I I just I just can't at the first like they actually gave um who is it yeah they actually gave no one's mom voice saying those things again I was like oh gosh what the hell I'm I'm starting to I'm I'm start to uh, I'm yeah I'm starting to give up to let out the tear I'm on that one it's time goodbye it isn't just a farewell it's a proof that all of you were once by my side. Even now, I cannot let go of my past regret and make peace with my powerlessness. I'm no saint. After all, I can just let it go and move on. These scar are part of me, aren't they? I'll carry them with me on my journey ahead. Even though there are still many things I can't change. You regret that makes me struggle, cry, and even hate myself. I know that. Oh my gosh, I know that I feel hurt because I still care. So I suppose I don't have to let everything go, do I? Yeah, the Kuro gave Kuro, Kuro gave. Oh my God, Kuro gave voice voice in that way to the character, but like it, it actually make me cry because. I read the whole script. You guys are with me. I read the whole script, and they actually gave voice and say that again. I was like, oh, "Why? Why do you do this to me?" His fireflies around him, responding with its flickering light. Thank you. Bye. No, oh, he never left. All his memories are fireflies. They're light. Guiding his way through the dark. He hums the song from his childhood, waving to the light and turning to face the real world. A world with both grief and joy. No worry, Kuya. I actually, actually I, I really cried. I really cried. Oh my gosh. No, no worries, no worries. My 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 throat hurt. My chest hurt. 
because of this because of this story though you can hear the sound of the ocean breeze from the lighthouse at the end of the light real freedom is right before his eye that's it that's it let's go re read the last part Fifteen minutes later, Dixon won all his strength to move his heavily wounded body and grab into the fence of the dock. But when he woke up in the darkness, he found himself surrounded by corrupted without a way out. He resorted to jumping off the top of the lighthouse into the sea. It would have been the third time I fell and almost died if I hadn't become a construct. He sits on the road and catches his breath for a few seconds before standing up with his tooth sport and shaking off the water in his hair. No, I can't rest yet. Even though the infection and his injuries have pushed his frame into its limit, no one still forced himself to shake it off and start running. Litos is still out there. It's going to hurt more people. Okay. Meanwhile, Paper Crane transformed back into Litos' chair. Around him are dozen constructs all immobilized. You're the only one left, Grey Raven commanded. Through this, I don't want to kill you. You're different from Ravage. You are not repulsive. Happy to bring you back if you want and turn you into a construct as well. I can try to make you one of us or companion. I'll pass. Why? It will slowly approach you while paying attention to his surrounding. Doesn't seem hurried to take down his star last target. My actual companion need my connect need to connect to my mind beacon. Your actual companion? Can I be one? I'm happy to consider if you are willing to give up your villainous way. I tried that already. I also want to find a way to coexist with human but I failed to achieve anything except hurting more people. You want to coexist with human? Do. It must be hard for you to believe, but oh my god, why, why, why they actually shift this thing? Believe, but this is one thing that you can count on. I love this world, and I love most people of it. I desperately want them to outlive this apocalypse, even if it means they have to live on a different, uh, in, on in a different, like the less intact form. This doesn't make me a kind of outlier among the ascendants, though. Know? Okay. We try to look for an exit again while he speaks. Unfortunately, you are, you are on an open field right now. Without any cover, there's no way you can outrun a construct. Not to mention one with a strange mechanical chair. It's not wise to confront an ascendant alone. Best thing you can do right now is not to act rashly. Uh, does paper crane bother you? This is torture chair. I used to torment or kill people who sit on it. Well behaved children. You should stay away from her. She was a mechanical wheelchair used to assist people with disability. She has since transformed into this after my father's remade her. Father? People who raised me when I was young. You have
have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? That's okay. Simply put, she's just an infected mechanoid now. You don't have to understand her. You don't have to know what happened between us. Just consider us has a corrupted. Okay. For all. Doesn't matter what I say, you human will always treat it as a weapon of an ascendant. Do you regret coming here, investigate the deserter? These people wouldn't have been hurt if it weren't for you. The captain of the purifying force, Bianca, isn't it? Mr. must have killed her by now. I believe in her. Believe? Are you going to keep resisting just because you believe in things can change? Of course, why not? You are all the same with so much confidence in your abilities. Can't you see how many of you are dying because of the punishing fires? Of course I know, what the hell do you think? You might think the filtering is a cruel, is is cruel. But if you keep fighting like this, what's the difference between filtering and victory that no one survive? Ascendant and trying to save those with our gift, not us. Even they are going to perish. Without you, humanity would have won long time ago. We would have saved more people as well. We can't save anybody. can control the punishing fires, even the air is toxic to you now. The only way to survive this world is to pass the filtering. Punishing fires are lost around Lita, slowly form into spikes that point at you. Humanity, courage, and hope are nothing but illusion. The same, it's the same that kills Mott. Wait, what next patch will be shit out of Litos for real. Let's kick Lithos in the next patch, everybody. For giving a yeah, for giving trap to us. Indeed, for let, let's beat the, let let's beat Lithos for giving trap to us. Hey Aki, welcome to the stream. Also Kelvin, welcome to the stream. Before I crush that hope, Grey Raven Commandant, allow me to keep you with me. I will make sure to weave you a beautiful dream, even if you end up a fragment inside the red tide. He raised his hand, the spike around him shoot toward you like a rainstorm. Right as you're about to meet your end, thunder chuck crackles, lightning strike from the skies. Oh Oh gosh, oh gosh. let's go, let's go! A heavily damaged frame stand between you and the barrage of attack, forming an unbreakable shield. You're wrong, Litas. Hope is not an illusion. It's what make it's what came out of your of our countless sacrifice and suffering. Is this your choice and your answer? Yes. It doesn't matter how many times you ask, I'll never agree with you and the filtering. I don't want to stay in this chasm of exiles and caves. I don't want to see their joyless smile. I don't want to pity your, uh, your, your crocodile's tears. Oh my god, crocodile tears! I will not give up on my dream. This scene basically got them full moment for no one and that got that music in the background. Y yeah, my god! Yeah, you, can act yeah, you can actually ex appreciate the, the music though, the BGM. You can save anyone without the power of an ascendant. They will all die, just like your old comrades and companion did. I know, but they are things I can do as an ordinary person. The Bilonia won't accept someone who has connection with Ascendant. They won't stop seeing you and this as a threat. I know, better be treated as a uh, as a threat than keeping making the same mistake. That's not Eden you are looking for. They will exploit you and your desire to be a hero before discarding you or even accusing you for a worse crime you have you haven't committed. I know, been there, done that. 
Don't don't regret my choice. Oh my god. <coughs> let's go, let's go. I know. Been there, done that. I don't regret my choice. <laughs> nice. Oh my gosh. This this is so cool though. Bella worriedly asked him three questions a few days before the battles on the train back then. Confused and stressed, all no one could answer was no idea. But now he knows. He knows. He is not turning back, even if the path ahead is a grave laden with thorns. My dreams, that future we want, is the right there, beyond the seemingly infinite darkness. Hope will trump and fulfill its dream. Nice, my god. Don't fit a lot in this scene. Yeah, not gonna lie. Yeah, true. It, it's really true though. No one leaped into the air with his blade, striking at the frail looking body without hesitation. The metal arm clashed with the dual blade, sending spark flying everywhere, even igniting the grass and leaf around them. Leaping backward, using the force from Lito's counterattack, no one strike, aiming for his neck. Litos has no intention to dodge or only catching no one's sword with his bare hand. Sharpened edge pierced Lito's palm. Red vital fluid gush out. You have made yourself clear. If you want to go, then go. I still think you will return one day. You will find me and ask for the power and freedom to track through this apocalypse. Holding no one's sword in his hand, Lito's point at his heart. You can kill me, that's okay. I'll die soon even if you didn't do anything. So don't forget to introduce yourself again next time you see me. I'm afraid I won't remember you. Lito's let's go, the blade goes through him. Tear me apart if you want. I might still feel pain but there's no reason to cherish a life that keeps getting reborn. Is there. I can't believe his switch. I can't trigger core passive. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Litos! Bring him back, Pepper Crane. You hear a main voice coming down from the dark. Pepper Crane immediately spread a mechanical limb and enveloped Litos before retreating. Who's that? No one dashed toward Pepper Crane, but an invisible force field hits him square in the face. Ouch. <laughs> Oh my god, Great even Commandant, I'm glad to see you here alive and well. Oh my gosh, that is it's cool. Hey Selena, welcome to the stream Selena. Everyone is here I see, everyone is here actually. Yeah, this is, this is, this is nice though. I'm afraid those who split up with you did not fare as well. Don't worry, I haven't completely destroyed the seed with potential. Our experiment and game have come to an end. I'll see you next time, except it might be sooner than you expected. Right as they disappear behind the dark forest, you hear footsteps approaching, hurried from behind. Turn to find Ry uh, Lucia arriving with reinforcement. Commander, I'm sorry I didn't make it in time. You're right, on time. That that agent would ha wouldn't have left otherwise. But most of the people who followed me here have been injured. I can't believe that agent was here. And Litos. That situation on the what situation on your side? The injured member are the purifying force are back at the on Babylonia with our help. Yeah, kalau nanya kenapa pada apa namanya pada biru itu mereka emang udah sering banget kesini dan juga aktif di di, di uh, Discord. So if you guys asking like. Why, uh, why there's a lot of blue, what is it, uh, people with blue name, the moderator, it's because they actually always been here watching me regularly and also um, being active in the Discord server, so that's why I'm actually giving them the, what is it, the blue, the, um, the moderator uh, uh, roles. Our transport craft are arriving soon, let's head back. Alright, first we move the unconscious boarding area first. I'm sorry, but I don't think I can help. Are you okay? Damage and infection are both at my threshold, so... 
he's still trembling even when he used his sword to support himself. Didn't realize it until the adrenaline pass and I'm feeling a little... He smiled apologetically before he collapsed into the ground. Nah bang, aku jadi NPC normal deh. Nah nanti nanti juga sama kok tenang, nanti juga sama kok. Eh kan dirimu sudah sering kesini kan? Ya, tenang aja. You work together to bring the wounded into the quarantine chamber before setting off on your journey back to Babylonia on the transport craft. Our mission regarding the deserter isn't complete. Isn't co uh, isn't complete, commanded. Sitting by the cabin window. Lucia reviewed the mission that the solemn thing. We caught a lot of them, but we failed prog uh, to progress on the ascendant front. Some purifying force member believed that the rescue request from Medical Center 09 was a diversion from the deserter and as ascendant. They wanted to separate us from the purifying force. Those people would have died if we didn't rescue them. There are people we can't save wherever we go. But we did, but we did save the most people we could. You're right, Commandant. Looking at the young man inside the quarantine chamber, Lucia turned and looked at you pensively. Is he one of the constructs we saved this time? He looks familiar, but I can't remember where I see him. I think so too. But I don't think he's who we think he is, that person. Yeah, that person sacrificed himself. How's Bianca? Is in critical condition, she took a big hit trying to protect the other. Lucia Fraud. That agent yet to reveal his true strength. He must preserve to be defensive. I know. You two remain silent for a while, with the familiar voice of the engine as your backdrop. Soon you hear a quiet moan from the quarantine chamber. He's awake, Commandant. How are you feeling? Wait, why is it still blank? Did I need to press the screen though? Oh, okay, there, that's it. I'm alright. Your infection rate is very high right now. I know. You sound exhausted. Sleeping in this state may cause your mind to yeah, uh, defiate. Try to stay awake, alright? Have your memory returned? Yeah, I think I can remember everything. Can you tell me your name then? You ask him the same question you asked when you first encounter him. My name? No one has been calling himself Strack ever since he was thrown of Asla, concealing his real name. He did that to avoid the unresolved conflict of finding him and to stay away from the rumors that accusation that would not leave him alone. There were times when he wanted to use his real name, but people already knew him as Shrek by then. There was no reason to correct them now. Strong still can't remember? Speak, goddammit, speak! I can't remember. Unlike the dream, then the mass Shrek represent no one. Come with scars of the past and the memories of losing his loved one. It is a name of a pain and trouble. It still draws ear in some place. The name of a traitor and a sinner. Which is why it's a name that can be re can, that can remind him not to stay from the path his soul has chosen. He's heading to, to, to he's heading to the future now. He will face many forking path and choice. He has to choose a name now symbolize his determination. Then his name must be Noen. My name is Noen. Nice to meet you, Commandant. Nice to meet you too. Ah uh, this is nice. This is nice. Nugget boss soon. Wait what? Nugget boss? And 20 a.m. Science Council. 
few days after no one arrived at the Babylonian. There are indeed some animal anomalies in his frame. But he wasn't controlling them, nor he you, nor was he losing control. The ascendants and table is a unique connection with him, being the punishing fires. I believe Ascendant leave behind some special connection technology in his mind. When the Ascendant returned him to con uh, turned him into a construct. That's in a thing design. It will certainly expand the possibility of future construct development. So you're saying he is an Ascendant or a Transcendent? That's right. I have to guess the anomalies and his power only appear because he was connected to and controlled by an ascendant. He's just a normal construct if he stay away from them. Quite fitting from as uh, from the ascendants called Swiddler. Back in the days, he was lying when he said he, the kid would lose control if he leave the ascendant. Can't be sure of his frame or his mind have been affected by other factors because of that. Right now, I can't guarantee that he won't lose control again. It's probably safer to keep him in the lab for now. I don't recommend it. He has been nothing but cor uh, but corroborative. Locking him up any longer seems unnecessary if he made. Are you sure? He hasn't he hasn't asked to change his frame. And uh, and away with it. And fair task in this uh, inspection was conducted as it. High pressure tasks often damage his part. Inspection require removing some component those aren't walk the path. He hasn't complained about anything. He would have shown it by uh, by now if he was in complaint. And send him to Brazil. <laughs> do you have a way to prevent him losing control? I do. I left some insurance policy inside him. After getting his permission. When can we be sure that Trad is completely gone? I'll need some time. The Ascendant is are staying away from here currently. It will, it will take longer to unravel in the crate without any way uh, without a way to observe and collect sample. We'll get a sample if he chooses to contact with an ascendant again, won't he? <laughs> that sounds like something Chrono and their research were doing. They won't let they won't let this go if they found out about him. He'll most likely die or defect if we do that. Before we solve this issue or replace his frame, I suggest keeping him away from mission that might involve the ascendants. I guess I make the right choice assigning him to Dark Ares. Dark Ares? Has oh wait, Dark Ares has been reinstalled? Yes, everyone on the team had some issue, so it was time to change things up. Who's the captain? Alma. Why her? He's the only one left. No one is more than qualified, but he can't be trusted yet. We couldn't assign him on that role. Lillian is a little timid. She's no leader, and her record aren't exactly spotless. We questioned her, although she said she wasn't aware when she bought no one to the medical center 09. We can't completely sure she isn't responsible. But we are short-handed right now, so we can afford any uh, so we can afford heavy penalties. We let her get used to the new squad first. And that was left that Paul was Palma, the butcher. All the three of them has some uh, all the three of them has something to do with Corona, especially Lillian and Palma. No one just, no one just got here, but Corona won't give up the secret in his frame at him. It'd be a challenge for Simon to lead the pro a problem squad like this. He isn't fit to participate on a mi in a mission on the surface physically. Begin with, I'm giving him, uh, I'm giving him time to rest and let him and his team learn more about each other. This is already the third inter uh, interaction with Dark Aries. We shouldn't we shouldn't overburden Simon. It was his request. He said <laughs> It was his request. He said he would no longer watch on his 
uh, on as his teammate defected the, the way he did do we accept the surveillance mission on Noen? not just Noen, but the others two are also potentially risky even how the fight on the surface is escalating there is no one else more suitable for this job don't we have enough people watching him already? We shouldn't relax as long as we can't go stop people from deserting. No one is just one of the surveillance target. Speaking of which, no one mentioned deserter during the inspection. I don't think the true purpose of that agent is tempting our people to fact. I briefly heard him mentioning that it could be a diversion. Even that Litos was the only person responsible for this incident. I felt like the agent had a different agenda <laughs> oh my god at this uh, at this scene it just make me think there's might be another uh the other that wasn't ascendant wasn't transcendent but around the world <laughs> oh yeah true okay i guess we need to send more people to the service investigate to investigate did he say anything about the Ascendant's Litos? Same thing he said when we questioned him, but I seem to remember the first day no one arrived at the science console and for the inspection. Litos? What's wrong? I don't know. He suddenly appeared behind me. Did, did I do something wrong? You were on pause for two seconds, staring at the girl's purple hair and her eyes before coming into his head. Ah, my apologies. I confused you with someone else. You were... Um, I'm Rosa. I'm Mr. Asimov's assistant. I'm sorry, Rosa. That's okay. It's okay. He falls silent again, staring at her. How oh, come? What is it? Nothing. It was baseless misunderstanding. Rosa has enough problem as it is. Asimov decided not to mention something this trivial. How's Lee's specialized frame? We can complete the adaptation and the construct, uh, construction at any point. But it will be just another Empyrea if in its current state. We still haven't made any significant improvement. Hi, nice. This foreshadow live... Uh, wait, Lee. Lee, Lee Hyperia. Oh gosh, this is cool though. This is cool. I, I like it. We were investigating the unique connection technology on Noah and hopefully it will bring some ideas to the development of the specialized Omega frame. Next patch boss, prepare your device guys. I'm prepared, I'm prepared. Extend our order from the few days ago and keep Lee in Babylonia. He is one of our few remaining hopes. We can't let anything happen to him. No one broke free from an ascendant's control by himself, which means he can he is also capable of adaptating and a specialized frame. His connection to the ascendants means there are still many uncertain about him. It's safer to place our bet on Lee before we are sure where no one stands. It seems that Grey Raven will only consist of Lucia and the commandant for the time being. Although Liv have woken up. All right, that's it for today. Treatment. Thank you, Professor. You too, Commander. Thank you for coming back to the Babylonia so frequently to assist with the process. As long as I can help, you never stop helping me, Commander. Yeah. How have you been? Any issue during battles? I'm all right. It's a medical. Uh, it's a medical miracle that you woke up, or so I thought. I only recently discovered that the monitoring and the medical device in your room were modified before the offer, uh, before refitting to their original state. The timing machine and the time you woke. I don't know who did it, and I don't know who it was done. All record that time have been overridden. Anyway, I'm going to look into it. I won't let some kind of stranger remain uninjured, and I'm going to drag whoever that is in the hospital to help. Professor laughed at, uh, as he uh, as she waved and turning turning away at me. How are you doing, Liv? The migraine have gone have gotten much better with the professor and your help. That's good then. Lucia told me that you saved a person while you were on the surface. 
He's surfing dark areas now? Uh, yeah, his name is Snowed. That's great to have the new person with us. You too, Commander. You should rely more on others instead of car carrying everything on your shoulder. Same goes to you. I'm already relying on you, Commandant. So, so, uh, so many others. And I will keep doing so. My pleasure. My, my pleasure. You see a familiar figure wandering outside the VGAA after you leave the Star of Light. No one? Good afternoon, Commandant. What are you doing here by yourself? Commandant Simon asked me to requisition some of supplies, and I'm still learning to my way around here. What about you? What are you doing alone? Or why are you here alone? I'm heading back to the relay field. Some spare weapon and coding. Captain Palma said I look like I was and I could finish out from pile of corrupted. So she told me to apply for a fresh coding from BGAA. Well, get something you like. I haven't seen how they swap coding, though so I would love to change the exp uh, uh, to change to change to experience it myself. But I haven't found out where the requesting opus is. I'll take you there. Is that okay? Of course, why not? Of course then. He walks toward you with a smile. How are you by the way? I'm good. Commandant Simon is a very gentle person. Everyone else is polite. <laughs> rainbow Shrek, Rainbow Shrek. Looking at the in, uh, intricate architecture of Babylonia, he revealed a hint of confusion in his eyes. They happened to be walking past as he returned from maintenance, and he sees familiar figure heading further inside. Yeah. Huh? How is the commandant free to hang out on around this place? Confused, Lee takes another look and he sees another familiar figure. He immediately dismissed the thought. What was I thinking? There is no way he could survive. That must be another construct who happened to look similar. But then, that young construct was. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, what the hell? What the hell? But it was just the preview of the uh, for the die effect. Are you sure about that? What's wrong with it? It's ugly. It's I, I think it's look fine. I think it's look fine. I think it's look fine. Either is that what the chief prefer? I prefer whatever makes you happy. Ah oh, you the BGA staff member cover his eye in anger. I'm just curious how it looks in rainbow color. Relax, I won't wear it outside. Seriously? I'll take it off, regretfully as it may be. Hey, Lee, are you here? Lee, you're still alive? I am, it's been a while. Do you know each other? Don't you recognize him? He's Shrek. Wait a minute. Ah, I might have forgotten to mention that. Take off the disco ball on your head before you catch up. I like it. I like it a lot. That, that that's so funny though. Anyway, that was what happened. I knew I could recognize you. You even pick up that book. Wait, am I right? Yes, and the ascendant made you a construct. You luck. That's not fair. If you if you hadn't jumped off the omega weapon, you would you, you would have just died uh, from your wound inside the train. Don't, don't even mention how you got away from the ascendant. Is that, is that a compli uh, is that a compliment? Oh my god. You can think what you want. I'm glad you survived though. By the way, why are you here, Lee? I saw you guys hanging around outside. I was showing the movie around. He has his own commandant, doesn't he? Ammon seems busy. What about the others? 
there. No one smiled silently, swallowing the rest of his word. Because of your connection with the Ascendant? Has everyone heard about it already? There have been a lot of new faces from the surveys lately. Managing disturbing uh, information has been a mess. See, the more anxious people are, the more they want to stay informed. Even if they, even if what they are here are plain lies. That's alright. Uh, I have plenty of experience with something like that. Don't worry about me. Still have to. Uh, I still have to go see Asimov. You guys go ahead. All right. He walks away. I kind of feel like Lee was hoping you go to rest. I know this. I, I know this. Of course you did. You're a chief. Did Simon teach you to say that? Yeah, he always mentioned you or asked me of how you did on the surface when we when we chat. He might not say it out loud, but I suppose that was how he showed he cared. No one smiled as he picked a new standard coat. I'll take this one. Do you have no other requirement? Member from Panding Elite Squad are allowed to request customization on their coding. This is good. I'll take this. Uh, I'll take the one everyone use. Okay. Thanks. Let's go, Commandant. You really should rest now, Commandant. Now, Commandant Simon say you just returned from mission. And you're already preparing to your, for your next. Let me walk you back to the Grey Raven launch. I have to go back to the Dark Eris launch as well. Alright, let's go. No one? No one. Um, what is it? Did you regret it? Do you regret coming to Babylonia? Yeah. I don't. But since you've been here, um, I've been intrograted, monitored, alienated, and asked to join those researchers. Okay. Do you think this will happen when you ask me to come to Babylonia with you? I'm sorry I was focusing on the sand that day. I did. I thought about this too when I agree uh, when I agreed to come. It was warm me too, so you heard that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry though. I thought it thought I uh, I thought it through me before I made the decision. Is that is anything easy? People who went through hardships, even when even back in the peaceful days. Are you a hero? Has your journey been easy? Of course not. Do you regret taking this hardship then? I don't. Have you have you thought about running away and giving up because you couldn't stand the pain? Nah, <laughs> I'm not that kind of person though. Nope, me neither. But not but not giving up doesn't mean it uh, doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. I might be a contract, but I'm still human inside. I know. I know. I feel the pain because there are still people. Uh, there are still people and things I care about in future. I want to see. So our answer are the same. No matter how painful, no matter uh, and difficult it get, I won't regret it. It's proof that I still care. I could live on with this regret and pain. Give up my dream for easier path. By the way, there is something I never had the chance to tell you. Thank you for pulling me up at the last moment. Thank you for uh, thank you for accepting my invitation. Though. Thank you for, for thank you for getting into my account. That, that that's the, that's one of it. Though. He smiles. Stop before for a forking road. That's the way to the dark areas preparation room. I should head back as well. I'll see you around, Commandant. I'll see you around too. The two of you wave goodbye before heading your separate way. Despite realizing how ordinary he is, knowing how he will face many challenges with this ordinary body, his footsteps feel determined without a hint of. <clears throat> An ordinary life is like a wild grass. Wild grass strikes no deep root, has no beautiful flower. And leaf, yet vibes new water and blood and the blood and fresh of the dead. 
all trying to rub off, uh, to rub them offline. Yeah, uh, yeah, agreed, agreed, agreed. He, he, he's actually, he, he's a really good boy though. As long as it live, it is trampled upon and moved down until it dies. Eh? But please, do not loot it how ordinary it is or how it decay. It the peace for soul to burn. Rejoice for their uncompromising soul. Love, sing for the snow. They melt with their, with their flame. They will try to greet their uh, greet death, then obey and perish in silence. He is walking on the pathway, the path paved with death. One day he will also face his death, guided by the fireflies. This is the choice the wild grass made. You will see. You will still see him smiling, but it's uh, but it is his time to go. Oh, for fuck's sake! What the hell? Tinder bird. Yo, we finished it. We finished it. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I already finished all of it, so no worry. Already finished uh, many, many. Uh, I've already done many other stuff. stuff. So it's actually safe, guys. But like, I'm still need to do some of the dailies, just like the dorm and burning some. Um, what is it? Burning, uh, burning this uh, serum. The other thing out. Like, we finished this. We we finished it already. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Talk time, talk time, talk time. We oh my gosh. The cinder, this, this, this cinder burn. Cinder burns. Oh my gosh. I might say though. I might say like, this is this is actually what life is. In like the cinder burn, um, what is it? The cinder burn story is actually what life is. Um, life is actually full of hardship. That's what. Life is full of hardship. You never know when to give up, or like you never know when to, um, keep pushing forward. All you need to do is actually make choice. Whether you are actually want to move forward or just stay there. Yeah, stay there, do nothing. Uh, yeah, just like what uh, what Aunt Hill yeah actually do like what she actually did. Aunt Hill actually said like I'm too scared to do anything for you. I'm I'm too scared to watch, so I cannot even do anything. Then she made change. No one is actually in grave danger. They actually, they actually use on hill as a hostage they actually nah I'm not molding time not molding time no, not not molding time though uh because i already mold uh, it's already done though. it's already done uh ne next week is gonna be molding time but like yeah yeah they actually uh they'll actually do something do something different not from before what is it well what what is it the thing that the he that she did that actually different from before and yeah, it is like uh, it is like killing herself using a grenade to give no one a chance to live, to give no one a chance to uh, a chance to walk away, a chance to uh, a chance to escape. So like yeah, like like oh my god, this is, I mean I mean like Pro, Pro Games actually gave you a really good uh, I mean like not good look, but like. A really deep explanation about life using using what it using what in the game itself like the story is actually give you something about life i mean like they gave you something from no one no one doesn't even live happily so much stuff actually happening on the lower floor on the lower floor of the train it's cramp, everyone need to survive, it's killed or be killed and many other stuff like that. But that doesn't stop our boy no one. Our boy no one is actually keep moving forward. He actually fought. 
with the with, with the member with the with, with the crew he actually fought even when his mom is actually taken away and killed he still fought that, that that's how that's how it should be that, that's how that's how yeah that that's how life should be you, you need to fight back you, you need you need to grow strong you need to fight back that's how it is like like what like what no one is actually doing right now I'm really great at making story uh, storytelling that that has deep meaning along with this story. yeah I mean like I am li uh, not gonna lie uh after reading this I love I love it. I love the way they portrayed Noah. Because like um in uh in in Nanami, in Nanami patch, I learned that uh there's still hope. That's it. That's it. That, that that's the only thing. There's still hope. And Karerina patch is only just a brief of the stories. You need to learn you need to read from the first till uh Karerina. But in no one patch, this cinder burn actually hits me different. Yeah, th this one actually hits me differently. Like, you need to sacrifice something to gain something. They actually tell you that. You want to gain something, you need to sacrifice something. If you make a choice, prepare for what you do. Like that. Whatever it is that you are doing, whatever it is that you are actually um walking what what is it what path that you are choosing there is something in that path that will actually either block you or give you some trouble on that path there's no there's no such thing as uh what is it as a like a, a correct path there's no cor there's no right there's no wrong path First thing that you do is actually just walk to one path that you are cho that, that you have chosen, and in that path there will be many hardship and everything else, or whatever you do. Also, this one actually tells us like you're doing something good. You're doing something good, no matter what it is, no matter what everyone else tells you, or maybe like bad mouthing you or anything like that. Keep going, just like no. He keep going, even if everyone said like he's actually, um, what is it? He's actually the people who actually doing something like that. Yeah, Selena's patch. Yeah, the truth. Selena's patch too. I mean, like, whatever it is, whatever it is that he's doing, he actually didn't even betray his crew, his teammate the people who fought beside him but then Asler being Asler making things up yeah I mean like many people many people actually likes yeah just keep walking see right right just keep walking if you're actually feeling that uh, if you actually know that you were in the right path it will eventually light up it will eventually light up everything will light up no one didn't even give a shit about everyone bad mouthing him about everyone saying shit about him about everyone saying things like you're the traitor you betray us all you're the one who killed rachel and everything like that does he give that does he give a single fox no he doesn't give a single fox at all that, that's what great that's what great about this story I must say i i enjoy reading this in the future i will actually do this kind of thing I'll always always do this kind of thing again reading this story it might take like four stream three uh three stream or maybe five stream but i will keep doing things like this but like yeah but whatever path whatever path we do there's no good path bad path there's only thing we can do is just keep going each path actually gave you hardship each path actually gave you something that you need to overcome but how to overcome that? How to overcome that? How to overcome all of your troubles? How to overcome everything? See, it's, it, it, for no one, it's a simple thing that no one actually tell us in this story. Is that you can still cling on the path, but make it as something that you actually learn. That's it.
this is this is this is I mean like this is this is actually something that you need to what is it you need to hold you need to hold I mean like many people actually yeah many people actually like um I don't know I mean like bad moting no one and everything else like that I don't know if it actually how much do you rate it's for the stories, I cried and everything. I'm gonna give this story a 10 out of 10. Seriously, I'm gonna give this story a 10 out of 10. Literally, literally a 10 out of 10. Guys, literally life lesson was given in here. I just said, I, I, I'm I, not biased or anything. I'm just saying that life lesson is given out in this story. A real life lesson. But if you read it truly, if you read it closely, this is actually a life lesson for everyone. L losing losing your parent is yeah, losing someone you love, you like your parent, your mentor, your friend, and everything like that is actually bound to happen. But this but, but like no one actually helped them achieve the goal and then no one actually achieved that goal but but there's a but there's a catch does no one enjoys that goal does no one enjoy that uh what is it the the fruit of their of no one um what is it sacrifice does he actually manage to uh what is it feels it like like taste the fruit of it not no one doesn't even taste the fruit of it. No one just let it let, let just let it be. If the people are actually happy, so be it. Don't care if I actually um become. Uh, everyone tells me that I'm, I'm tra uh, I am a trainer. Everyone tells me that I am this. Everyone tells me that that I'm in that. Blah blah blah. Yada yada yada. You're uh, if if everyone is safe, if everyone is okay, so be it. No, just be it like that gosh good uh, this is a really good what is it this is a really good um really good chapter this is a really good path i love it not gonna lie i love it a lot so yeah well anyway um i'm gonna start college from tomorrow um i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna rearrange my schedule because there's actually uh, a class that actually start like at night so yeah i'm gonna rearrange my schedule um, that's it and anyway anyway guys thank you so much for coming to the stream thank you so much for tuning in and as always um don't forget to leave a like don't forget to subscribe to me for more content on finishing gray raven and many other more i'm zizi signing off Bye bye